up the traveling exhibit that's in town. Good morning. Hey, we're going to head on out to uh, the 209 because there's a great moving memorial that's coming to the area to Delta College, and it's actually been going to different locations. It'll be there for a couple of days. Mike Straley is with us right now. He is the uh, public affairs director for the Eyes of Freedom. Mike, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, doing fantastic. I appreciate your time this morning. So, this kind of started by a, a lady in Columbus, Ohio, right, to honor 23 fallen members. Tell me a little bit about the backstory here, Mike. Yeah, ba back in 2005, the Lima Company, 3rd Battalion, 25th Marines, was activated to Western Iraq and uh, hugely successful deployment. But what you see here is kind of the cost of all of that success. Uh, because it was a reserve unit, all of our men were from right around central Ohio and southern Ohio. And as you can imagine, I mean, it really turned Ohio upside down. And one of the effects of that, Anita Miller, uh, the artist that created this, was reading the newspaper, seeing all of the uh, TV coverage of these losses. And her heart broke, really, as a mother. Um, she didn't have any connection to the military back then. Uh, but she wanted to do something to help these families basically start over or, or begin healing from this loss. And she had this vision of these life-size oil paintings that you see here. And she worked diligently with the families of all these men for about two and a half years to unveil these in the Ohio Capitol building on Memorial Day of 08. And we've been traveling it around the country ever since. It's been great. Uh, Mike, it is a very powerful and moving uh, tribute that we're looking at right now when you start putting the names and the, the faces together uh, for the sacrifice that they've made. How many different locations has this traveling memorial gone to? Do, you, do, do people request it to, to come to them or do you just kind of drive around the country? We, we do. You know, we do a little bit of everything from, you know, colleges to state capitol buildings, county fairs, a little bit of everything. And, you know, we do this event is number 270, I believe. Wow for us in our in our history and we do about 30 events every year and you know we're just honored to be invited to these places to be able to impact the community like we can. And so uh, can you give me some detail on how long you're going to be in that area? You're in the 209 at Delta College right now, correct? Yes, we're at San Joaquin Delta College here in the theater. Um, we're going to be here today, tomorrow and Thursday with an opening ceremony this evening at 6 p.m. I believe the hours each day are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pretty easy all day long. Uh, don't don't miss it. Come in, see us, uh, and really take a look at these portraits. You know, the, it's not just these men anymore. We've expanded our mission. It's very little about these specific Marines here. Uh, however, their their image is really honoring all of our men and women in service, so all branches, all all conflicts, all eras, and it's it's really special. Absolutely. Mike Straley, Public Affairs Director for the Eyes of Freedom, the memorial that is moving through. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time today, Mike. And of course, he told you it's going to be out there oh. for a couple of days. They have the, uh, the opening ceremonies coming up later on this evening, but they gave us a preview this morning to see exactly what folks will be seeing for the next, 20, next 48 hours out there.